Hey everybody, welcome back to Ignorant Bliss. And here I have another uh, film review. Uh, this movie is called Champions. It is starring Woody Harrelson, uh, Caitlin Olsen, Ernie Hudson, Cheech Marin, um, Matt Cook, Scott Van Pelt is in this as a cameo, Jalen Rose is a cameo, uh, a bunch of other actors I'll get into in the review. This is directed by Bobby Fairley of the Fairley Brothers fame. Screenplay by Mark Rizzo. Uh, it's put out by Focus Features, part of Universal. Uh, the movie is a remake of a 2018 Spanish film of the same name. Uh, let's, let's quick bio, or not bio, quick description. Woody Harrelson plays a basketball coach named Marcus. Uh, and currently he was doing well, but because of his personality and antics, he's knocked all the way down to be an assistant coach in the G League. He works under Ernie Hudson's Phil Peretti, the head coach of this G League team, and they have a disagreement, and there's a moment where things go wrong. Marcus did does best up in terms of he basically pushes uh, Phil and gets fired then to uh, basically uh, wallow in his sorrows he drinks and then he gets in a car he drives a little bit like a few feet and crashes to a car that was parked in front of him gets a DUI then you know the judge take pity on him to basically because of what he does, it gives him community service. He then has to coach a team of intellectually disabled uh, basketball team that, yeah, that needs a new coach, and he's put into this world that he didn't know. And he's not, he's not experienced with where he has to basically learn how to be a better coach, a better person. And is able to bring this group, this team together and have them learn to play basketball well enough that they go all the way to a tournament to go to the Special Olympics. Overall, this movie for me started off really slow and in terms of it wasn't funny. The first 10 or 15 minutes wasn't really working for me as they were setting up the characters, what was going on. And I was worried a bit, was like, is this going to be tasteless? Because when you start getting with uh, movies about that focus on characters with different disabilities, it can be touchy, especially comedies, because not everybody finds everything funny. Um, also, I thought this was going to be a movie about a coach coaching high schoolers or something. And there's nothing wrong with that type of thing, but I think especially in terms of uh, characters with disabilities, they kind of do focus on that a bit much. And it's refreshing that this movie actually deals with a team of young adults, people who are, even though they have these disabilities, uh, they have jobs, careers, friendships, uh, love lives, they, you know, some of them live in a group home together. Some of them might still live with their families, but these are, these are adult people. Like they're not, they're not like children who need to go to school who need to be like handholded. It was good to see different people with different types of disabilities all getting together, being friends, and Woody Harrelson, uh, who has a history with basketball movies. White men can't jump. I know they're remaking that classic, but. It's good to see Woody Harrelson, a.k.a. Billy Hoyle, out there teaching these these folks some basketball. And they have some really good scenes. I used to try to get them to, like, you know, move the ball, uh, take shots. And over, he actually gets them into a good uh, regimen with training and playing. And it, you really start getting into it on, like, you know, a good – type of sports movie and then it also has like you know the personal character stuff whereas Marcus ends up in a, in a relationship with a woman named Alex played by Caitlin Olsen who is the sister uh, of one of the players on the team 
that he met previously in a way that didn't work out well, but they ended up learning, you know, to get closer together. And it has some good interplay between these two adults, not young people. I like the fact that the, the sister character doesn't come off as like some super young woman where this basically older middle-aged man has to interact with her. No, they seemed peer level in terms of relationship. And it's funny. It's not overdone. It's not it's not overly goofy or physical comedy there. It's, it's done smart enough and careful enough with all the characters, how everything interacts, to tell a really good story. So by the end of the movie, you're like you're really into it. It's really good. It's really fun. And I definitely um, enjoyed the heck out of that movie. Uh, yeah, I, I clearly now I need to go see the original Spanish film because... You know, if it was good enough to remake over, then it most likely was great to begin with. And it probably didn't need to be remade, but, you know, Americans, we don't like reading subtitles. But overall, I think I gave this, I think I'll be giving this movie a B. I think I, I did write a review version, and I think I gave it a B as well uh, in the written review. But, yeah, it's definitely something worth seeing. Uh, I can't say that all of you are going to actually go into the theaters to go watch it. But definitely, when I guess it ends up on a streaming service, most likely Peacock because it's universal, it's definitely worth the time to watch this movie and see a good basketball, feel good movie. That's what we always need because you know, ball is life. All right, y'all. Peace on this review. Remember Marcus Markovich? You gotta make that! Well, he got fired. Marcus, get off the court. Oh! That wasn't nice. Nothing but bad news for the Iowa Stallions. What an idiot. <laughs> Mr. Markovich, I will offer you community service. Coaching adults with intellectual disabilities. Your Honor, we talking re re Whoa. No boo-boo words. Okay, fellas, we're going to do a simple ball handling exercise. My girlfriend loves those. <laughs> It's impossible to coach these guys. You don't have to turn them into the Lakers. They just need to feel like a team. Uh, we're going to need some help. You're getting a player off the injured list. Cassettino! Cassettino! Welcome to the team, Cosentino. What's with the boogie board? You do you, I do me, OK? Where do you got this guy? He just showed up one day. This is my sister, Alice. You want to do cup of karaoke with us? I don't like karaoke. I'm getting knocked down. Can I get, get up again? again? You never got to keep me down. You know the game better than anybody. You got to defend.